to the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles Channel. And we are happy to have you here. If you are new here, welcome to the family. Thank you. And for those people who um, are just finding our channel, we are the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. We are, are focused on singles, young men, young women who are trying and seeking a partner, a Christian partner, and they want to settle um, for a Christian home. So we encourage Christian courtship, Christian relationship um, that will lead towards marriage and a godly home eventually. So we have a very interesting topic and we have my friend here. <laughs> she's experienced, okay? <clears throat> so she's been married for a couple of years and she'll be able to tell us um, some things about one of <clears throat> the concerns of many ladies, which is finding an ideal man. <laughs> so is there anything like an ideal man? <laughs> so <laughs> what are your thoughts? And so I'd like to introduce her to you. Her name is Mrs. Ademurewa. Well, don't forget we we have a group called the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. We have a page also called the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles. We are on Instagram under the name DLBC Singles. Okay, don't forget to follow us on our Instagram page. Join the group. There's a lot going on there. We discuss, we answer questions, we have prayer sessions. And lots and lots and lots. So we have mentors, we have leaders, we have pastors, we have experienced people who are helping to answer all these questions and and serving as guides for all the singles. So you're in good hands. Go right into the video and talk about our topic today. Is there anything like an ideal man? What to you? Is there anybody anything like an ideal man? No. Nothing. There's nothing like an nothing ideal man. Like an ideal okay. man. Even Adam, when he was there, there is not a deal. Okay. Right? I mean, yeah, <clears throat> we just... I don't, I don't even know where that concept even came from. Okay. Ideal man. What, 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 what is that? Tell me, what is that? Well, you know, for some people, they think an ideal man is a man that has it all. Oh. You, yourself. The woman or the man, do you have it all? Okay. Do you, you? I mean, that's one thing. That's the question that you need to ask yourself. Do you have it all? Are you an ideal person for someone else? Hmm. Right? There is well, nothing. There is nothing like an ideal man or an ideal woman. So marriage is a is a coming together of two imperfect people. Exactly. Okay. Imperfect people, people from two different backgrounds coming to live, to commune together, right? To fellowship together, to love with, despite your imperfection, right? That can see through. You want to have a relationship mm -hmm. with that person, right? So there's nothing like ideal. Okay. Nothing. There's nothing like ideal. It's just... Marriage is actually living with someone who can you. Okay. You understand? Having that relationship with someone who can you. Right? I mean, for I mean, <laughs> I mean, even if you think that you are, you have the right person, you are married to the right person. When you enter that marriage, <clears throat> eh, it's like a veil is opened. Mm. And that's when you really, really, really see me. You don't even see anything during courtship. You don't even see anything. This is in when you get into that marriage. To the home. Into the home. That you actually see. You see each other's nakedness. Hmm. I don't mean physical. Not physical nakedness. The a real, real person. person. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you ask anybody. Ask anybody who is in any who is married or has married before. You understand, or you understand, ask them. They will be like, there's so many deaths. So there's there will be one thing or the other. They'll be like, man, if I had known this, <laughs> believe you me, I don't think I'll be married to you. Hmm. But the thing is that 
with love. You understand? The one thing is you need to love yourself before you even. Honestly, if that's you, some one very important if point. If you don't, I've been saying it. Love yourself, or yeah. you don't know how to love yourself, cherish yourself. You believe, cannot love somebody you else. Can. Yes, I've been saying it because some people think that okay, um, I'm a sad person now as a girl. Mm-hmm. I just need to get somebody. A prince charming and oh everything would just be heavenly. Mm. They, they 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 fantasize. They imagine what they they've read in books. Mm. They imagine what what those movies have told them. Mm-hmm. That Nigerian movie, Indian movie, mm-hmm. Hollywood, Nollywood, Bollywood, all the woods, whatever they learn from <laughs> all, the all the woods. They just imagine. They make it look like marriage is one heavenly thing, and that as soon as you get married. All your problems are just uh, over. That is when you do that is when you just become a bride. Yeah. And, oh, I'm just a married woman. And the, if you have a ring, the, the, the ones that wear a ring, oh, they just need a ring, or they just need a proposal, or they just they just need to be told that marry me. Mm-hmm. And they think that that's the end of problems. Mm-hmm. Once they get the ideal man. That is when your problems are just started. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> But that, that is not to say that marriage is all problems, I'm not saying, right? No, no, I'm not saying there are some marriage. lovely marriages, lovely homes. Even just to say that, even, even in, in the lovely that's homes, what I'm saying. there are times yeah, when, when you just the teeth want... and the tongue ah, bite. You understand? So, mm-hmm. so there's, there's nothing like... So I'm talking telling... about that loving yourself, mm-hmm. let's talk about it. Loving yourself is like you were telling me earlier on, that. Yeah. Sometimes I find it difficult to even see the good in me or the the like like when you were telling me that yeah. you appreciate yourself when when like you said when you are telling me what you see yes. in me and like you're you letting see. me know that I don't see. Yes. That is part of loving yourself. Mm. You understand? Yeah. You came today, you saw me, I was in the kitchen playing music, dancing. Yeah. That is part of loving myself, appreciating. I don't need to be among people. I don't need to be in the crowd before I can appreciate myself or appreciate the goodness of God in my life, right? Yes. Doing things for me. Hmm. Doing things for me. Being Enjoying able to enjoy own company, my own personal own. company. Exactly. Hmm. Yesterday I finished work. I was tired. You know, I was, you know, I said, let me just go. I went to care of myself. I went to the nail salon, did my pedicure, did my manicure, went around like in the mall, walked around, look at stuff, look at items, not necessarily that I had to buy them. And you just know, window shopping. just window just shopping. Just the fun of it. Just the fun Do something of it. that you like. I enjoy that. Yeah. From time to time, do something time that you like. From time to time, right? Yeah. You understand? I enjoy that. Sometimes I'll just go, I need, I just, I need a massage and I'll go for one. That's if you can afford it. That's, that's if you can afford it, yeah, right? Yeah. If you can afford it. Yeah. Sometimes it's just me going for a walk, go to the park and just go sit down. You understand? Yeah. So especially where we are in this part of the world, right? Yeah. There's so many things that you can do alone. Yeah. Like there's a botanic garden here. Once in a while, I just go, especially in the summer, I just go and just go and appreciate God, nature. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. That is me enjoying myself without, you know, necessarily not being in a crowd or, you know, having yeah. someone to tell me or maybe I need someone to tell me who I am or, you yeah. understand? I, I just, I, I, and the thing again is loving yourself. For those of us that have a relationship with Christ, yes, believe you me, if you have a good relationship, especially with the Holy Spirit, uh, it will be difficult for you not to love yourself. So it, it starts from your relationship with God. If you do not have a relationship, a love relationship with mm-hmm. God, so you first have to have that love relationship mm-hmm. with the Father, with mm-hmm. the God, with the Creator of the heaven universe. and earth, the supernatural mm-hmm. being, and that helps you to so, internalize yeah. that love. So you begin to love your own self. Exactly. Yeah, I I, I like that point. Yeah, that's a very important point. Mm-hmm. So you can hardly love yourself if you don't even if you have not accepted the love mm-hmm. of Christ. Christ. Yeah. So for those who have not known Jesus, I tell you, you are missing a lot. Find Christ so that you can learn to love your own self. 
before you can love somebody else. else. Okay. Yeah. So there's no ideal man. There's no ideal man. So what should a lady be looking for to say, okay, this man, I can marry him? The first, first of all, you, one. the lady. Yes. You, the lady. You, if, you, if you're a lady that, that, um, that is for that concept of ideal man. Yes. How ideal are you? Work on your own self. Mm -hmm. Get ideal yourself. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is ideal about you? What is unique about you? So you find yourself you, first. Exactly. Discover who you are. Okay. When you discover who you are, right, then you'll be able to determine what you're looking for in a man. So I can't say this is what you should be looking for. This is what you should know. Who am I? Find your purpose. Yeah. Who are you? When you know who you are, you discover who you are. You know your, your, your trigger points. You know what motivates you, you know what pushes you, you know what makes you leave. Mm -hmm. Then you will not be able to determine what you are looking for. I can't tell anybody what to look for. Who am I? Okay. I always say God is a matchmaker. God is the one that, God can help you find somebody. If you pray, to, of course, we tell people to pray about marriage as we pray about everything in our lives, right? You pray about everything in life. I know you, you pray, pray about, about everything. everything. You want God to, to be like your you guys. You can't say God to go and find you in life. No, God doesn't need to. God is the perfect matchmaker. I know. God makes people meet each other, mm -hmm. okay? So you allow God to orchestrate everything. But seeing that you are looking for a perfect man, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's actually an ideology that, that's not part of reality. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so. See, that's I always go back to Adam. If Adam was perfect, eh? God would not create him. Believe if he was him. perfect. If he was perfect. God would not create him. Yes. Okay, so he, he was there to complement yes. his imperfections. Exactly. And Adam was there to um, complement the imperfections of Eve. Exactly. Well, the opposite attracts. Yes. Okay. All right. So I can't I can say mm. this is what you should be looking for, looking at. I always say, discover yourself first. Okay. This is from experience. I, I, this is, you know, learning from, you know, dating and ending up in marriage and Cotton. all that, right? Cotton and everything. Like if you do not know who you are, your purpose, what, what your likes, what you don't like, what drives you, what motivates you, you understand? If you do not know that, then why are you looking for a perfect man? Why are you looking for that ideal man? When you're able to discover yourself, then you will be able to, to state or determine what you need from a man. Okay. All right then, we'll leave that. Find yourself first. Before you can find an ideal man, you need to find your own self. <laughs> okay, so we'll leave that. And next time we're going to talk about another topic that's very interesting. I think the topic of self-esteem. Yeah, because self-esteem is something that um, lots of ladies battle with. Mm -hmm. And they, they don't even have any esteem of themselves. Mm -hmm. So how see, to see, that, develop that, that. That, that? See, that is a thing that comes to, that is part of discovering yourself. Yourself, yes. It, it, it can help in building your building own self-esteem. Exactly. Okay, that's a topic for another day. It's a very long topic. We're going to stop here. <laughs>